In April 1984, a Hungarian aviation magazine called Repules reported on a jet attack aircraft. The article claimed that it was designed by the Weissman Fred Steel Factory during World War II and named the XNI-02, nicknamed the Chameleon. The article included a photo of the aircraft, leading many to believe that this aircraft actually existed. However, it was a fictional piece of equipment. The story of the XNI-02 was made up to sound believable. It was designed by Paul Nemish in 1944, but due to the war situation, Hungary could not independently develop it. In reality, the aircraft was assembled using parts from Hungarian, German, and collected Allied aircraft. Many details were lost, and the prototype was originally assembled in Hungary, but possibly transported to an underground facility in Germany to show loyalty to Germany. It was then returned to Hungary and had its first flight on November 6th of the same year. In April 1945, Allied pilot Lidiar Taylor was flying a P-51 fighter on patrol over Hungary, trying to locate enemy aircraft. He spotted a mysterious aircraft flying at an altitude of 3,000 meters above Linz and launched an attack. The first attack had no effect, but during the second attack, the mysterious aircraft deployed its landing gear and slowed down. After sustaining damage in the second round of attacks, the pilot parachuted to safety and the aircraft subsequently crashed. Hungary also attempted to develop reconnaissance and trainer variants, but when the Allies captured the factory, they discovered unfinished aircraft parts and destroyed them. This is the story of the XNI-02, which, although it sounds believable, is indeed fictional. The XNI-02 had a streamlined fuselage with the cockpit positioned towards the rear to accommodate the pilot. However, the article claimed that it was a two-seater with a radio operator lying in a prone position in the front of the fuselage. The aircraft had inverted gull wings with the wingtips folded downward and a T-shaped tail. The main landing gear was bicycle style, and there were auxiliary support wheels on each side of the wings. The nose of the aircraft housed weapons, including two fixed 30mm cannons and two remotely controlled 12.7mm machine guns mounted below the nose, operated by the radio operator. The aircraft could possibly carry two 550-pound bombs under the fuselage. The engine compartment of the aircraft was mounted on the rear fuselage sides using support structures, similar to the A-10 attack aircraft. However, it is not clear which engine the aircraft actually used. The rear fuselage had bulging sections, possibly fuel tanks. Considering the circumstances at the time, the only possible source of jet engines for Hungary was Germany. However, it is unlikely that Germany would allocate such valuable resources to Hungary. This indirectly confirms that the XNI-02 is a fictional aircraft. In terms of aircraft development, Hungary's aviation industry during World War II had a weak technological foundation. Even aviation powers like Germany and the United States had spent years on technological experimentation at the time. Even with German technical assistance, it would have taken Hungary a considerable amount of time to digest these technologies and establish a new production chain. This was almost an impossible task for Hungary at the time. Since this aircraft did not exist during World War II, what about the photos of the prototype? In reality, it was a full-scale model primarily made of wood and plastic, reinforced with steel plates. The structural parts of the aircraft were based on the fuselage of the P-51, the wings of the Ju-87, the nose of the P-38, and the engine cowling of a certain passenger aircraft. The publication of the XNI-02 article did cause a stir at the time, with two main factions emerging. One believed it was false, while the other believed it was real. Some even went to seek information from World War II veterans in the hope of obtaining valuable information. However, all these efforts were in vain. 